Welcome everyone to Wonderland Explorers. Tonight we are back here at Disney's Epcot for the Festival of the Holidays and we're kicking it off with true fashion, making our way around the world, a long world showcase starting in Canada, going through England, trying all these treats, all these delicious beverages, everything and anything in between. We're excited. Come with us as we explore. Standing here at the beginning of World Showcase, we're taking in this beautiful Epcot Christmas tree. It, boy, does it glisten beautifully at nighttime. But here in the day, you can take in all the beautiful ornaments they have on this tree, including some little catchphrases that say Happy Holidays in all these different languages, including some ornaments as well with all the flags for every pavilion around World Showcase. Just so many nice little touches here on this tree, and boy, is it beautiful. One of our first stops we're going to make is in the Port of Entry where we're going to be checking out the brand new 2021 Festival of the Holidays merch. I am so excited to say what is in that store. It's that time of year when we all fall in love with Olaf. This one's really nice. I love that again it doesn't say like Epcot or Disney World. It actually gives like a different phrase. But look at this. It's like that really soft blanket. Oh yeah. Wow, that's like nice and cozy for those oh, cool winter days. Yeah, and I love the little emblem on the front too. I think that was nicely done with the little snowflakes and fallen snow. Look, along with your cozy sweater, you can sit and eat some cookies with Olaf himself. This is really cute. I like this. It's, a, <laughs> it's like a three-part stackable cookie jar too. Yeah. He's so cute. It looks like they also have this nice lightweight sweatshirt. This is good for, I think, any time of the year. I really like how it says the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays down here. And this is fun with Spaceship Earth and Olaf and Sven there. What a, what a cute little sweatshirt. I found your shirt, Kyle. Top of the naughty list. Oh, what? <laughs> this is kind of a nice pattern as well. It's like a hunter green. Again, it's that soft blanket material. Yeah. But in it, it has little prints of Mickey, different expressions. That's that really he has. cool. It's almost like they're embossed a little bit too. I think I yeah. like this one better than the Festival of the Holidays. Yeah, I feel like you can do this a little bit more longer. And then if you look at the back, it has Walt Disney World and in like the silver glitter. print. Yeah. That's yeah. This is very very classy. I like this one. I think. Believe it or not, it does get a little nippy here in Central Florida too. So they have us covered with an Olaf beanie. Here we have a Sven and Olaf uh, holiday ornament. It says Festival of the Holidays on there. We have a couple of different t-shirts down here. It's that time of year indeed. So one of the new additions I like is this like miniature cookie jar. It has the bow on top. It looks like mini, little candy cane stripe. Festival of the Holidays logo, but what I really love is how they included all of these cookies along the backside. There's the black and white cookie. You guys remember that from the Hanukkah video that we did. And then they have all these other little sugar cookies on here. How awesome is that? They did add the 50th anniversary vault collection items here at Port of Entry in Epcot. I think this is a great addition because before you had to either go to Disney Springs or even Magic Kingdom to get some of these items. While it's not everything, part of the vault collection, you do have a lot of the staples, especially this classic Mickey Mouse doll. So now that we've checked out all of that awesome merchandise, we're coming out here to the promenade where we're gonna watch Joyful, which is a celebration for the season. You may remember a similar band that used to be in Future World back in celebrations of past. We're excited to see them. Epcot is pleased to present Joyful. Hello everybody! Are you ready to celebrate the most wonderful season of the year? All right, well, Joyful, how about you guys? Yeah. I think we're ready. Can we do this? Show us how, how it's done, right? All right, one, two, three, here we go. Have yourself 
a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Wake your troubles, bye bye. Goodness, I like, think all you can say after that performance is oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it was it was definitely joyful. I mean, that was just it was so oof. much fun to watch. It was them a little emotional. Like yeah, they were so were. fantastic. They you were. know, oh my goodness. And I did notice that some of the people that were in the band are actually in other bands from the area um, that have played back at the American Garden Theater uh, during during COVID. So where they used to bring in like outside professional bands from all around the world. Uh, in previous festivals, they've been bringing in local bands, which I think has been fantastic. Like, these people are phenomenal singers. Like, just fantastic. And I love it, their performance as well. I mean, I think that was just the best show I've seen so far. Yeah, yeah. All across Honestly. the board. They never stopped dancing <laughs> no. the entire time, no. and they all had smiles on their face. I truly love that show. Yeah, they were, I, I'm just, man, they were just really good. <laughs> like I said, I, all you can say yeah. is, wow. Wow. <laughs> start making our way through World Showcase stopping at Canada first, making our way towards England. Worked up a bit of an appetite. Let's try some of these delicious holiday treats. So 
first up on our journey is the Yukon Holiday Kitchen. Oh man, this looks so good with the seared scallops, the beef bourguignon, and then you have the snickerdoodle cookie. Oh my goodness. Look at these little snapshots here. This is gonna be so delicious, you know. It's fall, y'all. Fall, y'all. Fall. About to be winter, y'all. Winter. So what do you eat? <laughs> Stews. And tons of carbs. <laughs> Here we have some beef. And besides that, we have more beef associated with some beef. A little carrot. A little green scallions. All atop some roasted red mashed potatoes. Now, I know some people don't like it when they leave like the skins on. Like in mashed potatoes. But I like that little touch. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's delicious. The potatoes are whipped and creamy. The sauce has so much flavor. The beef is tender, almost like melts in your mouth. I'm not chewing it right now, and it is melting away. I would give this a five out of five. I love this fish. I, I always love stopping at the Canada booth and getting like the filet the, or the whatever beef steak thing they have. It's always delicious. Let's try. Oh, man. Wow. Honestly, this is the best thing they've had here yet. Like this is better than the filet. This and the is mushrooms? Oh. This is delicious. You know, you get, like, I think you get a good amount. The other ones yeah. have been kind of small. This you get a lot for the price. Man. Thanks, Janae. <laughs> that sharing is caring, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the maple cookie blonde ale with the maple popcorn and the background smell. Mmm, I'm ready. Okay. You do get just a slight hint of like a maple flavor, but it's not overpowering. And then it's followed, yeah, almost like a an amber ale, I would say more than a blonde ale. Like it's not as light as I think a blonde ale would be. It's almost like the amber. Very good. I'll give this a three. Oh, you definitely taste the maple. That is delicious. And it's not like, it's not icky. Sometimes, I think you can have things that are like maple flavored and it's just like way too much. This is really good. I like this. This is uh, this and the Kungaloosh over at Jock Lindsay's. Oh man, these are the two winter go-tos now. I love this, five out of five. Would you drink that with the maple popcorn? No. <laughs> no. It's dessert time. I'm so excited to try this. This looks so good. It's so pretty. It's got little Snickers on top of it. It's a Snickers Snickerdoodle cookie. <laughs> oh yeah, man. So it's a little dry. It's a little dry. But it's still pretty good. It's got a really intense, like, ginger cinnamon flavor to it. The Snickers does a good job. I like the little white chocolate on there. Overall, I think I give this like a three out of five. Oh, no. It looks it looks a lot cooler than how it tastes, I'll be honest. Okay. So, just to add another cookie to your cookie trail, again, you can do this several times. You don't have to do it all in one day. You can spread it out throughout your trip. So, it even looks like a little snickerdoodle. You know, I can do that. Like, I can So, I do see where you're saying it might be like a little dry. But I almost feel like that's the type of cookie that it is. But I'll have to say like the drizzles and Snickers give this cookie all the flavor. The cookie itself doesn't have much, but with all the stuff on top, I think it's pretty good. I would agree. I would give this a three out of five, but it's still beautiful and it's still tasty. So now that we've had some Canadian holiday treats, I think we've heard a little bit of the call of the Canadian Voyagers. Let's go check out this next holiday celebration. <laughs> is the
cultural traditions of our indigenous First Nation Native people. Now, the youngsters in the First Nation sing Christmas carols in order to appease the mysterious Nalayuks and earn their presence. So, in honor of that tradition, we're going to sing for you now and earn our presence from the Nalayuks. the Canadian Voyagers. I thought they put out a great show and you learned a little bit about the Canadian culture during the holiday season. But I think now we're going to head into the UK and you might be able to tell where I'm at. Maybe a little rose and crown for a special holiday drink. I don't know. Let's go see what they have. So, so I think we've discovered the theme in England. It's cheers and beers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. So I did a half and half. Yeah. Which is harp on the bottom and Guinness on the top. Yeah. They didn't have any special like holiday drinks per se, but uh, I still think the harp is fairly holiday-esque, right? We just noticed this fun window display here in the UK pavilion. Look at you have the little penguins, the little top hats. Right next to Mary's dress. How cute is this? Fifty! Yay! Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gather round, everyone! Gather round! Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too, and God bless you and send you a happy new day. And God send you a happy new year. Hear ye, hear ye, to all those gathered among the streets of this fair village. Greetings. I have many names. Some of you call me Santa Claus. But here in the United Kingdom, I am Father Christmas. We gather today to toll the devil's knell. One stroke for every year since the birth of Christ. Now let's see, where was I? 50, correct? And then we had the song, so... 65, 66, 67... Excuse me, but what year is this? 2021? Got a long way to go. 2021 minus 67. That means I have to ring this bell 1,954 more times. <laughs> All right, 68, 69. We'll get back to this a little later. <laughs> At any rate, I am Father Christmas, and I have been around for many years, bringing holiday joy to good children throughout the land. Oh, I've gotten cards and letters from so many of you this year. Oh, I got one from you over there and one, one from you back there. Oh, that Christmas carol that I was just singing. Like so many of today's Christmas traditions originated in the United Kingdom. In fact, it is not uncommon to find groups of carolers, much like yourselves, standing on a street corner, much like this one singing songs of the season. In fact, that gives me an idea. Excuse me, my young friend. What's your name? Brianna. Brianna. Well, Brianna, where are you from? 
Florida, you know I visit there at least once a year. <laughs> well, Brianna, have you been good and kind this year? Of course you have. No, you have been very good. I know these things, you see. Would you be so kind as to come up here and help me out, please? You hold on to these jingle bells for me. When I point at you and say, jingle bells, you shake those bells. Do you have it? Let's try it one time. Jingle bells! Oh, that's pretty good, but uh, keep shaking them for a moment. Let's try again. Jingle bells! Oh, that's pretty good. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, I was about to tell you all. Jingle bells! <laughs> Trying to catch her off guard. She was ready for me. Jingle bells! Very good. Very good, Brianna. All right, so at this time, Brianna and I will sing that traditional Welsh Christmas carol. Jingle bells? No, deck the halls. <laughs> I said a traditional Welsh Christmas carol. Jingle bells? That's not from England. That's from New Jersey or someplace like that. <laughs> Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Oh, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Oh, la 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 la. Don we now a gay apparel. Oh, la 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 la. Show the ancient Yuletide carol. La 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 la. Yes, that's the holiday spirit. <laughs> Big hand for Brianna, my bell ringer. All that bell ringing should knock a couple hundred years off our devil's nail, don't you think? I think so. Oh, the sound of carol is in the streets. You know, it reminds me of a picture print from Courier and Ives, or better yet. A scene from a Christmas card. Now there's a tradition that really caught on. Did you know that the first Christmas card was sent in England? Back in 1843, that original card caught the attention of an English gift book company who had a thousand lithograph copies made for which they sold for a shilling a piece. And the rest, as they say, is history. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I really do. I'm Father Christmas, remember? You're thinking enough with the carols and the cards. What about the mistletoe? Am I right? Yes, I knew it. There's one in every crowd. You see, the hanging of mistletoe is amongst one of our oldest and, I might add, one of our most popular traditions. It dates back to the druid ceremonials of the winter solstice. Each time a kiss was claimed under the vow, the person would pick off a berry until no berries were left. So, my friend, here's wishing you a bow with many, many berries indeed, yes? Oh, there are so many wonderful traditions that come from the countries of the United Kingdom. England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, each have their own unique customs that help make their holiday season a special time. Just as Charles Dickens has shared the romance of a perfect Victorian Christmas in his writings, the United Kingdom has taken the customs and traditions of its countries and shared them with the rest of the world. Perhaps the immortal bard, William Shakespeare, said it best. Ever against that season comes wherein our Savior's birth is celebrated. No spirit dare stir abroad. The nights are wholesome that no planet strikes, no fairy takes, no witch have power to charm. So hallowed. And so gracious is that time. On behalf of all the villages and towns in merry old England, here's wishing you all a hallowed and gracious Christmas. Hear ye! Hear ye! One more final wish on this Christmas season. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Uh, boy, Father Christmas was so good. I enjoyed seeing him. It's that special time, you know, he only comes once a year, so 
it was it was a little bit of a of a perk, right? It's kind of nice too. They let you take your photo with them at the end. Yeah. There's a little boy. He's going to take his photo, yeah. and he comes up and he sees him. And he's like, I love you, Santa. Yeah. Those are the moments that are so, so precious. He's so precious. Like, yeah. Yeah. So this is a great opportunity to get your picture with the old one, the only Santa. So we are going to make a quick stop at the Crown and Crest because, as you know, they started an interesting tradition here where every holiday they're updating the names on some of the family crests in there to reflect something special for the holiday season. And I have a feeling they made some updates for Christmas. And as suspected, we have a little bit of a clause. See, North Pole. And we have something for the Game of Thrones fans and Christmas, you'll notice it says snow. Oh man, double trouble. And it is getting nippy here in Central Florida and what better name than Frost to be on display. Well, everyone, I think that does it for a very joyous, very festive festival of the holidays. And my, it was a festive time we had tonight. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed seeing Canada, all the performers, especially Father Christmas. My goodness. Yeah, and yeah. the band Joyful. Oh, they did make you a little joyful spirit. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We hope you guys did too. If you did like the video, hit like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, friends, bye. bye.